Hey guys, I know DOMS exists, so if you don't know what DOMS is, it's delayed onset of muscular soreness. And I hear comments all the time, like after fitness, fitness tests, after circuit sessions, you guys are struggling to move. So I brought in my very good friend Mel Shaw, who's a fitness expert, and it's gonna take us, take us through a few stretches that is gonna help you. So Mel. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll come down to the mat first for a hip stretch. Um, so when you're ready, just step, say, right leg forward. So lots of different variations for the stretchers. So, but what you want to be looking at is that your knees above your ankle just to protect your joint. And then just come forward, releasing deep into the hips. So here is where you should feel the release. And then just releasing your toes down at the back. And then just here, just sort of try and relax into the stretch. And um, if it feels good, then if you want to extend the stretch, you can lean over into the stretch with your left arm. And then just holding each stretch for a couple of minutes, just keeping your breath, keep releasing through your breath. So if you wanted to further that stretch as well, um, so if you just want to stay on that stretch and then I'll just show you the advanced stretch to that, is if you wanted to bring your hands down to the mat for a little bit more of a stretch and then again you can come all the way down to your forearms. So lots of different options, but what we don't want to do is force a stretch. So if it feels good, that's where you need to be and just relax into the stretch. So what you want to be doing is holding each stretch for a couple of minutes and then changing sides. We'll do the same on the other side. So this time we step the left foot forward and then come in through into hip stretch. Again, so you can either stay upright here and we can lean over to the right. Sorry, leaning over to the left side. And again, just try and focus on relaxing through this right hip. So it's really nice stretch. And then again here, so if Steve just stays at that level, then you can advance your stretch. You can bring your hands to the floor and then you can also come down to your forearms. So lots of different variations to that stretch. And then when you're ready, come back up. Um, another stretch um, which is really popular is um, for the glutes. So for here, what we'll do is we'll bring the right knee forward. Now, here you can either keep your knees to 90-90 there, or you can take the left foot way back and then just take toes down at the back. So where you should feel this stretch is in through, in through the glutes here. And then again, just bringing your hands down and lowering your head down onto the mat. And then again, just holding your stretch for a couple of minutes as you try and release through. And then we'll do the same on the other side. So just changing legs around. If it feels uncomfortable to take the other leg back, you can just keep your knees to 90-90 and bring your chest across towards the foot. So there's different, again, variations to that stretch. So really good release for piriformis and through the glutes, that one. And then here, if you wanted to bring your hands down to the mat and then lower your head down. Okay, and then when you're ready, coming up. Hamstrings often get quite tight, so. Definitely. That... Definitely tight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, so for hamstrings, so you can go taking right leg forward, and then just tuck your left heel in at the groin there, and then lifting your arms up in the air, and then reaching forward. And then just go to the point where you feel that really nice stretch in the back of the leg. So you can intensify it by bringing your toes towards you, and then again, just bringing your chest towards your knee. And again, you just want to hold your stretch for a couple of minutes each side and just keep breathing, relaxing through each stretch. And then we'll change sides. So doing the same again on the other side. So again, just tuck your foot in at the groin and then lift up and then bringing your chest towards the knee. If you feel a little, slightly uncomfortable in the hamstring, if the stretch is too much, just slightly bend the knee, micro bend the knee, and then stay here in the stretch. So you never want to overstretch. To intensify it, you can straighten the leg and bring the toes towards you. And 
and then when you're ready come up we'll just come into a, another glute stretch so if you took your left foot in and then bring your right foot over the left knee that's it if it fit, yeah if it feels better if you can take the left leg straight so and then bring your other leg over the sorry other foot over the knee lift up and then you hug the knee and look over the right shoulder so again it's a really nice deep stretch in through the glutes if you feel like you can tuck the other foot in and to advance the stretch and then change inside so we'll take the <laughs> I forgot which way left that's the one <laughs> look it over the right shoulder <laughs> that's it again if you want to tuck foot in to advance the stretch so again here you should be feeling that in through the glutes yeah. hip. Stretch. Sweet. All right, guys, so there's a few stretches that are definitely going to help you on your journey. Uh, give them a go, let us know if it works for you, and uh, let us know if you want to see more and what kind of area of your body that you'd really want us to focus on. But until then, have a good one. See you soon. <laughs>